Hello, it's Ron back here with another video on uh, my YouTube channel today where I cover a lot of drone uh, a drone, drone gear and, uh, you know, drones, drone accessories, uh, uh, tutorials, um, how-tos, uh, everything like that. We also do a lot of other camera gear and tech gear too. But today we're going to, it's going to be another drone video on the channel. So it's time to uh, revisit an old friend of ours, the uh, DJI uh Air 2S and uh, we're going to do the kind of one year uh, review of the drone actually it uh, came out uh, I think almost 11 months ago now so it's my 11th month review but I've been wanting to get this done for a while you know got some thoughts and stuff I kind of want to get out there and uh, so let's get right into it folks so we'll sit tight and we'll be right back All right, we're going to start out with some basics here. I made a, you know, a cheat sheet this time or whatever, made some notes. So this is going to be a real video here instead of me just sitting here, uh, you know, just winging it. So, okay, the Air 2S, uh, we'll get some of the basics out of the way first and we'll go into some of the finer uh, points. You know, it's going to be, I'm going to do just a little overview of some of the specs and then, you know, my... Uh, you know, kind of my experiences with the drone over, over the course of the year. So, uh, yeah, some of the basic specs, it weighs 595 grams, so it's definitely not a mini, it's not under 250 grams. Uh, the release date was actually 4-15-2021. Uh, uh, the retail price now and then is still $999, and if you buy the Flymore combo, $12.99. And it, it might have been on sale, you know, in the past year, whatever, Basically, the, the price is, has held up well. And it has a, um, a flight time of 31 minutes. It has a range of 18.5 kilometers. That's some of the basics, you know, just out of the way, you know, the beginning. And, uh, you know, the drone has really held up well for being a one-year-old drone. I mean, one year is not that big, you know. Uh, in most uh, things, a, a product cycles way beyond, you know, one year in a drone. But it, this came out on the heels of the Air, the, the, the Mavic Air 2. They were still using the Mavic name on the Air 2, which only only was about a year before that. So th this followed that, um, you know, really closely. But um, it, it did have, you know, some, some real nice improvements. It had some first from DJI that we've never seen in any of their other drones before. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot to unpack here. But um, so uh, let's, uh, let's move on to the next phase. Okay, one of the things that makes the... Uh, Air 2S, maybe the uh, best drone uh, that costs under a thousand dollars, is the one inch uh, camera sensor. It's a 20 megapixel, um, you know, uh, delivers 20 megapixels also. And this is a big upgrade over the Air 2, which had the quad bear half inch sensor. Uh, and along with that one inch sensor, you also get 10 bit color, um, you get a bit rate of 150 megabytes. You get a, a, a D log, a video for, uh, mix, which makes it uh, easy for uh, color grading, and uh, you also get a 5.4K uh, video resolution tops, and that would be at 30 frames per second. You could you can you can film at 4K 60 frames per second, and it has the larger 2 2.4. I'm gonna call it UM. It's a funny character UM pixel, so it's kind of a larger pixel. So um, you can see some of this video here uh, and then how it, uh, you know, you, you see it's a big jump up from uh, the Air 2 or like the Mini 2. And, uh, but along with that, this also has um, obstacle, uh, obstacle avoidance sensing in, in four different directions. That's front, back, uh, top and bottom. And the it added a larger obstacle avoidance sensor to the front of the camera that kind of have a fisheye wraparound effect so they can you know, they can see a little bit more uh, than just directly ahead. And it also was the first drone from DJI that introduced the a ADSB, well, the first consumer drone from DJI to to have the a AD ADSB in it. So that was new to the consumer line with this drone. And it also has a 12 kilometer um, high definition image transmission from the drone, you know, to the controller. So, um, all press specs again for drones under a thousand dollars and you know drone is not not a real big drone okay um we also have um also new to the uh, air air 2s was master shots a um sequence of different photos uh, uh actually 
video clips um, performed all together and that produces a, a, a finished product where um, you know it's that kind of a little mini movie and it's kind of hard to describe it's basically just um, <laughs> look I, I can't even give you an act so but it does a lot of the move like dronies and helixes uh, and some of the intelligent flight modes and puts it all together for you so it is kind of unique um, you know of course this has you know uh, availability of uh, what one billion colors uh, you know when you're in your editor uh, it shoots uh, uh, raw photos and uh, it has up to uh, 12 point uh, have a hard time reading my known 12 point eps, eight, 12 point eight steps of dynamic range so pretty impressive for a, a small little uh, drone like this it has intel intelligent HDR technology it has features such as hyperlapse pa panorama you know, there's a wide angle shot, a 180 shot, and a spear. These are all, you know, some of the wide angles. It is. And the hyperlapse is really a cool feature on this drone here. And you can even program the hyperlapse almost to run like a little mini waypoint. So um, I'm not sure if that was the first DJI drone that had that, but it, it may have been. It's a really neat feature. Uh, and you have the same stuff that was on uh, some of the, the b bigger drones here. Uh, actually, I, I think the Air 2 may have been the first one to have them. The Focus Track Suite of uh, Spotlight 2.0, Active Track 4.0, and Point of Interest 3.0. And all those features, I think, came on the original Mavic Air 2. And, of course, the um, Mavic 3 also has those features. So, very, quite impressive, really. So, um and you, as you're looking right here at the slow motion, it has a, um, a button right on. You can, you know, right in that uh, pop-out menu thing, we can go right to the slow motion, where I believe you're getting 1080p at 120 frames per second. So very impressive, really, with just an auto button. Okay, the, um, the Air 2S also comes with the same uh, controller that was released first with the, um, uh, the Air 2, and also now is on the... Um, Mini 2 and the Mavic 3, but I was, uh, so it's on this drone also, it's a good controller, doesn't have the built-in screen like the ones from the Mavic Pro and the Mavic 2, but it, it's a good controller, the, you know, the uh, drone mounts on the uh, top, you pull this piece out, goes up here rather than um, down below like uh, the uh, Mavic uh, Pro and Mavic 2 did, so good controller, good standard controller. And it uses the, uh, hold on here, let me reach over here. It uses the same battery that came with the uh, uh, the Air 2 also. So uh, they're compatible between them. So, so that's good to know. And um, so that's about it for the uh, the hardware. Now I'm going to get more into my uh, own personal opinions of the drone here. Uh, one of the remarkable things about the drone, you know, considering size, is how robust it is in the wind. If you live near the ocean or any type of open water where you get a lot of a lot of breeze and a lot of gusty breeze, uh, this drone is a very good performer. Uh, probably, probably the best drone I have in the wind outside of the Mavic 3, which came out after it. Uh, came out a good, you know, um, six months after that drone so um and much much larger drone also but um the air 2s can hold its own against uh, almost any drone to win i you know i they get that wind rating a lot of them are like a level five and i think it may be rated a level five too but all level five drones aren't created equally this is much better than other level five uh, uh drones in the wind so okay so i made my point on the wind there um and uh, you know it, it flies uh, superbly. There's no issues with flight controls whatsoever. Um, you know it. Uh, uh, you can highly customize it in the settings too. You know all your your gimbal pitch and gimbal roll, and uh, so you, you can you know customize it to the the way you like to fly it. But uh, just out of the box without changing any settings, it uh, it still flies well. And it comes with the, the modes. You got your city mode. Your regular mode your sport mode and you can customize all of those you individuals so you can really slow things down if you want to if you highly customize the city mode that um, all your um action will be you know slow and uh smooth so you know again 
all good if you're trying to get smooth video. And as far as like portability, yeah, it's not as small as the DJI Mini Series and Mini 1, Mini 2, but it's still a very compact drone to travel with. You can easily take it out of, if you buy the fly more kit, you get a little kind of a case with it, almost like a shoulder bag type of soft case, and which fits it well, and it's a small case, good for travel. But if you really try to travel light for, say, an airplane trip or something like that, you can easily convert it into like a camera bag with the padded you know, lens slots and put it in something like that and just take it along with your, your other camera gear. And even if you do keep it in that little case, the case they make for the the Air 2 series, you know, including the Air 2S, the case is all virtually no bigger than the, um, the Mini 2. So once you have everything cased up, it's like the same size. So um, if you don't need, the, you know, the 250 or under of the um, Mini 2, um, this drone really isn't much more to uh, transport because the same exact controller or the same weight, the drone and the batteries, of course, are heavier for this than they are, um, you know, the Air 2. And you know, they have all the accessories you can get for this drone. You can buy all the ND filters from Freewell and Power Pro and uh, you know, all the usual names out, out there and, and all, all the other accessories you usually get like extended landing legs and landing, you know, um landing, landing pads, but <laughs> they could go in any drone. But almost all the gadgets you can get from the drones, they you know, either DJI or third party maker makes all the accessories you could you could want for this drone. Um, you know, all, all filter again, filters, circular polarizers, all that stuff. Uh, uh, my good buddy Marcus Croft even gave me a mist filter for it, so uh, all that stuff is available, uh, you know, for this drone. So, I mean, um, it's a lot of people's favorite drone out there because it really, when it came out, it really hit that sweet spot between the uh, Mavic 2 Pro and the uh, you know, and 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 the Mini 2 or the Mini, maybe it was a Mini 1 at that point. So, again really hit that nice sweet, sweet spot between those bigger and smaller drone. Um, for a lot of people, um, you know, there's probably no reason to get anything more than the, um, you know, the Air 2S now. You know, let's go to the downsides now here. It doesn't have an adjustable aperture. So unlike the Mavic 2, it's, uh, I think it's a 2.8 2 fixed aperture on this thing. So you will not be able to go in and, you know, cl close down your, you know, uh, you know, close your aperture down and all that, like you can't on the Mavic 2 Pro or such drones as the uh, Evo 2 Pro that have the adjustable aperture. So, you know that that is a that is a con. And um, you know, one of the one of the other, here's another here's a small con um, on on the Air 2. You can zoom not only on uh, video, but you can also zoom in on pictures. Where this drone only allows you to um, to zoom in on 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 video you cannot zoom in on your photos so uh maybe a little bit of a con there and and, and more on photos even though i read to you it has hdr technology in it that's all auto hdr um it's nothing on photos it's nothing you can control yourself you you on the like the air 2 you could go in and you could turn an hdr button on as well as you could the mavic 2 pro that may show you that hdr but in this one it does the HDR internally with you having no, you know, no, no, no say over it. So I, I don't know if that's good, bad, but, um, you know, uh, that's just the way it is with this drone. Again, even the drone being a year old, I would still like highly recommend this drone, especially if you didn't think the camera was enough for you in the Mini 2. Um, I know this doubles the price, it's gone from 449 for the Mini 2 to, um, Nine ninety nine for this, but uh, more than doubles actually. But I mean, you just get a tremendous upgrade in the camera, tremendous upgrade in everything really. But especially in the camera area, the Mini Two, of course, not a very good performer at low light, and you know, very good in the middle of the day and in good lighting situations. But just does a grab um, some of the, lo the lower light at the ends or the ends of the day, the sun rises, the sun sets, or e even flying at night. So um, that's a you know, reason you may want to choose this over the Mini 2 or if you're thinking about upgrading from the uh, the Mini 2, this um, is definitely um, is a big step up in that category. So, so. so yeah, after about a year of flying, I, you know, I don't have any uh, any cons as far as, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, uh, satellite issues or crooked horizon issues or, um, 
you know, loss of disconnection issues, loss of signal, any any things that that you know plague some other drones, some big issues. This guy's pretty much trouble free, free in those um, annoying issues that uh, impact your uh, you know your your flight ability. So um, this this baby's just um, you know this baby's just kind of bulletproof as far as you know all that's concerned that uh you know it's really held up well over the over a year now and um you know it um i yeah i, I don't you know you know i don't want to go on on here but i, I do want to say that you know at uh, i really recommend it um now we do have uh you know we do have the mavic 3 out since then the mavic 3 is a you know a better drone in in many ways but of course of course it costs more than twice as much as this drone for the base package so uh, there is that. Everything has to be, um, you know, rated along with the price. So, um, you know, it, uh, it's a better drone, but it also costs a lot more. And, of course, we have the Alpha in the room here, the Mini 3 Pro coming out. Uh, you know, it's going to have a lot of advanced features, and it's going to be kind of in the same price ballpark as this thing. Um, so that will be, it's not out yet, but uh, be, I'm sure people will be testing it against the Air 2S, the Mini versus the Mini 3 as far as quality and, and, and everything else. Um, you know, flight capabilities, range, um, so on like that. So it will get interesting here in, uh, you know, a couple weeks when that Mini 3 finally appears. But for right now, you know, uh, the Air 2S is still, to me, the number number one drone uh, under $1,000 here in, uh, in, in, I will say, still early. 2022 when it's been the best under thousand dollar drone since it came out and it still will fill many of the needs for many of you out there and, and service you for you know uh, uh years to come really i mean people uh, talk about some people talk about you know one's the air 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 3s coming out or whatever they just call it the air 3 and you know it doesn't seem to be on dji's roadmap this year but you never know but um what would they pop out but Right now, it doesn't look like we're going to get a Air 3 this year. It sounds like they sort of, um, maybe they think they filled the gap just with the Mavic 3 and the and the Mini 3. They don't really need anything in, in between anymore, uh, you know, the, or you don't feel any need to get anything out fast. So, um, yeah, so I, I think it would be safe buying a Mini, the Air 2S now. I don't think, a, 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 you know, an Air 3 will arrive next week or next month or you know, 4th of July, so I, I think if you buy it, you're good. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's kind of my wrap-up on, um, on the on the Air 2S you know, a after a year. Uh, again, you know, I've said it all already, so I, I won't, you know, kind of repeat myself, but um, it's a, still a great drone, and, uh, you know, if you got any questions about the Air 2S, you know, put them on down below in the comments, and I'll try to get back to you uh let me know what you think about the drone whether you have it or you know if if you haven't bought it by this point is you, you just skip it and get the mini 3 instead um that's a you know that's a hard question to answer right now but um we will um you know it's going to get interesting this year so uh folks if you got anything out of this video don't forget to leave me the old thumbs up subscribe to the channel you know ring the bell uh, you know what to do. So uh, we will see you on the next video.